we're going to be looking at clutch control on maneuvers today and i'm going to be focusing on what the pedals are up to with the um, with the gas pedal the brake pedal the clutch pedal so basically looking at all the pedals that we're going to be using and, and we're going to start off with something simple really which is going to be um a reverse into a bay park but on a flat road so at the moment you can see my foot on the uh, the gas pedal going up and down so i'm going to put it into gear so it's clutch down first gear which is what you already know i'll look around make sure it's clear and just plow a little bit of gas and a little bit of clutch because i want to park slowly i don't want to clutch high otherwise i'm going to race off fast and, I, and we're talking very gentle here as i get around there i'm off the gas covering the brake lowering the clutch down straightening myself up and stopping so like i say i'm not focusing so much about getting in the bay it's about what the pedals are up to it's a slight uphill so i'm going to slightly reverse a little bit of power where if it was flat i might not need um uphill um, power that is so i'm looking round a little bit of power a little bit of clutch hold it if it's not moving that left foot needs to go a little bit higher and just take your time there's no rush and if you feel like the car can cope without gas just lift the gas off just use a bit of clutch control and looking round and just using that clutch at the moment so that gas that gas pedal is doing nothing it's just sat aside there a little bit more clutch but if the car feels like it's struggling put a little bit of power on to help it but keep the clutch low and like i said before i'm not too worried if i don't get in there straight away so i'm just looking round bringing it round using a little bit of clutch lowering the clutch slow it down lifting the clutch to, to build it up get the speed and taking my time bringing it round and i'm not rushing to get in and I, as i'm going into the bay i'm thinking about what's behind the bay and think about that clutch so i'll load it a little bit and slow it down and i'm just getting straight as it comes round i'm straightening myself up and i'm going to be lowering that clutch a little bit as it stops lift the clutch a little bit more it moves backwards keep it moving covering the brake and lowering the clutch stop and um, the thing about the clutch control is if you have it high towards the biting point it's going to go a bit quicker than what you want and there's also a risk that you're going to stall so the last thing we want to do is stall the car so if we try it on the opposite side so i'm just going to pop it in first gear a little bit of gas a little bit of clutch and just take my time going out bringing it round Getting it straight and lowering the clutch and braking. Pop it in reverse. There's a car behind me, so I'm going to wait patiently. Let him go around me. Get foot's on the brake, foot's right on the clutch. They're going around me. I can see all the side mirrors. I'm going to pop it to, the, to my right in that bay there. So I'm looking around off the brake, a little, a little bit of clutch, and I'm, going, I'm not going to use gas here. I'm just going to use clutch control and just cover that brake but I'm not pressing it, it's just kind of resting there so if I have to stop I'm on the clutch and braking at the same time rather than my foot down here doing nothing and if I have to stop the clutch down but I'm late getting that brake on so think like that if I'm not going to use that gas pedal get the foot near the clutch uh, get the right foot near the brake pedal so that if you have to stop it's easier so lift the brake off lift the clutch up slows the biting point remember you don't want to get to the biting point you don't want to go fast and just take your time looking round and I'm going to bring it into the right so I'm looking round because I'm going to swing you out and if it starts picking up speed lower that clutch if it's, if it's not going fast enough lift the clutch a little bit but don't be in such a rush because if you lift off quickly that's what's going to happen you're going to stall so if it does stall foot on the brakes don't move it's important clutch down leave it in that gear restart the car look round lift off the brake lift the clutch slows the biting point and just use a little bit of clutch i'm not using gas because it's fairly flat I'm just foot's hovering around cover that brake bringing it round it's coming in quite nice start straightening up and like i said i'm not bothered about what's happening around the car we're talking about clutch here so I'm covering that brake because i'm going in because if i slip off that clutch it's going to pick up speed isn't it i don't want that so that's what the brake's covered for so you cover the brake when you're going into the tight spot so that you can react quick to things. So off that brake a little bit, a little bit of clutch. 
and I'm just going back slowly. As I get into the bay, I'm thinking about slowing down, so I'm thinking about lowering that clutch down. So it slows down and then brake to secure it and brake neutral and rest. So that's fairly on a flat road, isn't it? So let's um, let's try something on a hill. So I'll, I'll go to where there's a hill, maybe a car part of a hill, and we'll try it on a hill and we'll see what the difference is between what we did then and what we just what we're going to do next. So this is the part two of this video on um, working on the pedals. So you've got the uh, the clutch gas and the brake pedals, and um, we're in a different car park. So let's get moving along. So. I've got a little bit of gas, I'm already in gear, a little bit of biting point, and just taking my time. So I'm just going to fold it around there, and it's a slight, as I go around the corner, it's a slight uphill. It's not a massive one, because you don't get many hills in Milton Keynes, unfortunately. It's a slight uphill, which means I'm going to go downhill to reverse into this bay on the left. So I'm getting myself in the middle, a little bit of braking, clutch goes down. And because it's downhill, it's slightly different. And if you're enjoying the videos, by the way, give it a thumbs up or feel free to share it. So I'll pop it in reverse. I'm looking round. I'm not going to use a lot of clutch because I don't want to go fast. I'm going to come off the brake. It's rolling a little bit, a little bit of clutch to help it. And look round. It's nice and clear. Nothing too tricky. I'm looking for a gap on the left there. So I'm bringing it round. And lowering the clutch a little bit, it's picking up speed, a little bit of brake. Now, if you're on a steeper hill, you're probably going to use a lot more brake and a lot less clutch because it's going to pick up speed pretty quickly. It's like rolling the ball down a hill, it's going to pick up speed. I'm taking my time, a little bit of clutch. So it goes downhill, slightly uphill there now. So it's going to use a little bit more clutch to get up the hill. But I'm not using gas. I'm not covering the brake just yet. But as I get closer to the bay, I'll cover the brake. So that if you have to react quickly and lower the clutch and brake, I can. A little bit of gas, a little bit of clutch. Bringing it in. There's a fence behind me and a lamppost. Last thing I want to do is slip off that clutch. So remember, if you're going into a bay, you cover that brake. Looking behind you, you have to press the brake. And then you're lowering the clutch and braking. Now I know what some of you are going to say. If you're going uphill into a bay, steep hill, are you going to cover the brake? Because just clutch alone is not going to work. Well, this is where you, you've got to be clever. So if I go forward a little bit, so I'm in gear, bit of gas, bit of biting point, and move forward. Right, now, it's hard to demonstrate unless you've got a big hill, and I haven't got big hills here at the moment. So I'm going to say what, what should happen is, you're in reverse, oops, reverse, <laughs> got there eventually, bit of gas, bit of biting point to help it up the hill. Now, if you can anticipate things, which is quite easy to do if you're going slow, is if you think, oh, there's possibly a risk of someone opening the door or risk of a, a fence behind there, then you, as you're coming off the gas, you lower the clutch in the, in, at the same time. So it just cuts out straight away. Where if you just come off the gas, it'll keep moving for a few seconds and it'll eventually slow down. So you go off the gas clutch down there as you're braking at the same time. So it happens in a split second. So if you want to carry on going, you lift the clutch, not to the biting point, just below it and go gas, biting point so you don't roll and then looking behind you going backwards taking your time and not rushing and then secure the car so foot's on the clutch already foot's on the brake and brake neutral and rest so i'm hoping it helps you to understand clutch control and how we're going to use it if it does like i say give it a thumbs up and watch out for my next video next week